springtime in Texas in the year 1901. Birds start in the trees and the big black horse by the fence gently grazing. The woman in the house is by her bed on her knees and her eyes are dry. Neighbors spring dishes, the fire makes ashes. Women bake biscuits while men on the front porch talk quietly and glance at the big black horse grazing. The woman by her bed on her knees keeps on praying. Her eyes are dry like her mama's eyes. Twenty years ago when they brought her uncle in from the Colorado River, naked and scabbed by Comanche Indians. She prays by her bed like her mama prayed. Her eyes are dry like her mama's eyes were dry. And her face is brown and it's wrinkled like cowhide. She's lived by the calves and she's had calves born. She's ridden all day in the West Texas sunshine. The dust and the wind has brought tears to her eyes, but now it's death. Her eyes are dry. Out in New Mexico, the door is opening on a bright, cool morning. A man with one arm takes deep breath. 500 miles from the house in Texas where his sister prays by her bed and his big black horse is grazing. One arm is gone, it's been shot off, the other one is bound. The scaffold is stalked against Clayton, New Mexico sky. This Texas train robber is just about to die while his sister back home in Texas prays. and kin folks they prayed every Sunday. They sang hymns at church, they were Baptist and they smiled. They prayed over meals and they buried their people. They buried their dead and they murdered the killers and they hardly ever cried. Their religion's not for crying. A religions for living, praying not for the dead, but to get through the dying, one more death. So she prays all day while her brother is being hanged, she prays all day.